Hello there. Yep. We got the transmission free. Yep. Got this one that moved down a bit. And uh, we have it. We literally have it hanging, I think. Yeah, it's. Thinking, oh, oh, is the yeah. nut on the bottom of that one? Yeah, it still is. Okay, well, let's get that off. That's probably what's holding it right now, actually. Let's see if it's hand tight. I can lower it a bit, too. Ah, uh, no need. It's just hand tight. See, yeah, these don't lock, so uh, the driveway is elevated. So we've learned that the hard way. That it's kind of shit. Oh, yeah, it's still stuck on something. Oh no, Wait. those are moving with the transmission. That's not good. Oh, those are transmission lines. Oh, uh, we didn't even disconnect them. We didn't disconnect them. So we could possibly We're done. disconnect them from. But I don't want to get under the trend. I don't want to get under there with that. Yeah, we have no choice unless you want to cut them. Definitely not you want said to cut them. you wanted to do a new transmission cooler, right? I did want to do like and fittings. Yeah, well, now would be your time. You can cut these and then run your new stuff. But mm. what else is holding it on? Nothing. Can't pull it out. The uh, transmission lines are under there. Yeah. You just need to disconnect them. Oh, I don't think anything else is catching. All right. That back one might be catching. I don't know if it's. Oh. The tranny is loose AF, but I don't know. I don't see that bolt lifting out, and we moved it a bit. Okay, well, we need to get these trans line off or cut them. Can you get it with that edge? It's, it's rounding off the bolt. Yeah, there's like clips on it, just like Vince's actually. Okay, I think I got it. I think we should... Here, do you want to give me the camera? I can show them what's going on. Yep. Alright guys, so you can see up here these transmission lines, they have a C-clip on them. So you just gotta pop them out and uh, should be easy to come off. I'm gonna go ahead and try taking this off now. I can't get this off. At all? Nope. So your options are you can try or I can cut it. <sighs> That literally just rounds off. Yeah. If you cut the metal, would we ha would we have to replace all of the rubber lines? Mm -hmm. Huh? If you do a new transmission cooler, you just replace all of it. I see. Yeah, I can tell you this much. This ain't coming off. I didn't. I mean, I don't even know if you'd be able to take it off when it's out of the car. Really? Yeah, they're but... like on there. Oh shit. God, this this keeps happening. Like having to chop off stuff to get it to work. I hate that. Or these pop off actually, maybe. Like those are those fittings stay in there and they just pop the lines off. I literally can never do this with vents, even though they're supposed to pop off. Did you guys have to chop them off? Well, that's what we did end up doing, yeah. Shit. Um, These early 2000s GM products, Jesus. Hard to work with. Honestly, when anything's this old, though, it's hard to work with. That's not true. So true. Your Mustang is eight years older or newer, so it just is easier to work on. No, it's a simpler design. My car is built like an old car, honestly. It's a big engine bay. True that. Yeah, the, so it is exactly like Vence's transmission. You just take these C-clips out, and they're supposed to pop out, but they're not. You have the C-clips out? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, here. Use this. What? That doesn't help me at all. Damn. <laughs> I thought it might work. No. Well, fuck. You all right. Bypass your cooler like Vince did and just put your own cooler in. That will be an idea. I literally can't. I mean, you can try. I'm Here. cold. And I want to get this done. So I guess cut the lines. Where's the angle grinder? Is it you, still out? You don't need an angle grinder. Yeah. Oh, you're just going to cut the rubber? That's pretty tough rubber, actually. So maybe we do need the angle grinder. It's too late. What? It's too late. Oh. Just cut it. 
I can't do with that. I need a different tool. This is my most hated way of doing stuff is cutting stuff out and then having to buy new stuff to replace it. I hate that. But, you know, eventually enough new stuff and it will all come out like it's new. Because it is new. Because we're having to replace everything. Might as well just cut right where you did. All the rubber. Damn. You see the smoke going on that shit? Yeah, I mean, there's coolant in it. Or fluid, right? Yeah. Jesus. Would you nick? Uh, is that the AC line or is that a brake line? No, that's yeah, you know, one of the AC lines or something, I think. But I mean, it didn't do anything. At all. Okay, good. Uh, do you want to put those up, maybe, so they don't have to leak everywhere? I don't know how you weld that. Whatever. Yeah, we can zip tie them, maybe. So I'm thinking that uh, this bolt should be over here just because like more weight will go that way yeah and we need to like have it go up but at this angle it'll want to come out like cockeyed and we need to go like straight up and out okay well first off we just need to lower it so it can get off that stud true do you want to go check the stud <clears throat> we need to get it out from there yeah we do so lower it more. It's already loaded oh. as far as it goes. Uh, Pry bar? It, uh, that's going to have to be the choice then. All right, well, we are going to go ahead and remove that uh, trans mount, and we should be able to pull it out. Okay, so we believe that we're only two bolts away from getting this uh, transmission completely unbolted. Okay, so right here, where I'm touching right here, we took the nut off, but we thought that was all of it, but actually these two bolts right here on the bottom of the frame are also connected to the mount. And it's either a T50 or a T45 possibly. I think it's one of them. Mm, nah, that's a little small. We're gonna have to get something bigger. Cause I think if we try and use this, that it will, it, will, it will mess this up. And even if we get it out, it might bend the fins and you can't, the bit won't be usable. But uh, we'll be back. All right. We got these two bolts out. We actually didn't need a Torx bit. Yeah, these definitely are Torx bits, but. It's like an eight something. This, uh, this, yeah, it's eight Torx eight. bit, it works perfectly. Yeah, but we think it's way, completely free now. It's way looser because we watch over here. See how it's moving right yep. now there. Let's pump it up. I'm excited. I, I just don't want this to swing and break anything. It's coming out more toward, towards us. Oh, shit. So, so what I think is happening is the part of the axle that didn't come out is resting on the frame. Maybe we should uh, relax it and put this bolt back over where we had it. It is resting on the frame, yeah. Is it is it okay to slide? I think you can pull it towards you, yeah. Or will it, like... I don't want it to catch on anything and rip it. I think we... Uh, let's, let's loosen it and get the other bolt on like one of these holes. I feel like it's stuck on something. Yeah, it is. Here, let me drop it in. It right. looks like it's, uh, it looks like it's no longer in the place uh, of that, of that third mount we just disconnected. So I don't think that's what's sticking it. I see it. Plus this moves back and forth. It's not stuck on anything there. I think it's something up front. So, uh, or, or towards could, you. It could be it, the fact that it's resting on this, yeah. uh, this frame or this rail. So we're going to go ahead and figure this out and we'll show you once we're pretty much just pulling it out and we're hundred percent sure. I feel like it just needs to move that way. Yeah. All right, guys, it's getting darker. Also the, uh, camera is almost out of battery, but, uh, we did dis disconnect it from there. It's going to be extremely hard to see down there. But, so, uh, so even though we disconnect it from the bottom, whatever reason it would not let go. So we then had to repl or, uh, unbolt where the mount was just mounting into the transmission itself. We just, so then it dropped. Yeah. 
And what a pain in the ass. Now it's kind of lopsided. We're going to have to have a strategy for putting it back in because Please. same thing will happen. But for all intents and purposes, it's uh, not connected to anything. Didn't, uh, didn't, does anyone else's family have a transmission lift or stand or thing? No, it's yeah. for going in the bottom. So now let's just make sure it doesn't connect or catch on anything. Nope. What was that? That was just the AC pump. Okay. We're gonna be able to pull this high enough. The uh the steering arm, well not the steering arm, the shifter cable might get stuck on something. Yeah, over there. the ball. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Oh god damn it, these AC lines. There you go. Okay. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> the thing is in the fan. <laughs> get that out. Or try and push on it. There. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it like this. Hopefully we can lift yeah. it above this. All right, guys, the camera died. We did get this out and over. As you can see, here is the transmission. The uh, filthy. The back of it, yeah, I don't push on it. That's where the motor mounts go. There's three bolts, so I'll have to put that back in. Also, that's where the dipstick goes. Yeah, your shifter. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and move it. We cleared <laughs> What? Shit. Look, here's the part of the axle. Yeah, that needs to come out. It's really dark. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but we did clear a path here, and we're going to try placing it on the table. I got on top of the table, and I weigh like 180 pounds. I don't know how much this thing weighs. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up, and we're just going to move it all over here. Alright, that's good. Hang on, we had to lift it up. I see. Where did the thing go? Oh boy. Hot. Damn. Yep. I almost feel bad for putting this on the table, as dirty as it is. There we go. I shifted it. You know what? I'll just tilt it that yeah, way and I'll yeah. drop it. Boom. Okay. Whew. Maybe we should have put some cardboard under it. Is the table bowing at all? I think it's good. Huh. Yeah. The center is a pretty supportive spot, so. All right, guys, I'm going to charge the camera. We're going to kind of just tidy up and clean up everything and then we'll assess what we have right at the end. All right guys, we're back. Tristan actually had to head out, so I'm just gonna be closing off this video here. Uh, I think we got pretty good progress done. We forget the transmission finally out. I'm trying to convince him to take it to a transmission shop will probably be out, end up being the best, but uh, whatever happens, uh, we did get it out today. You can pretty much see how messed up it is. Get some light on here, but like, yeah, look how freaking gross that is. So the axle was, broken open and just was spewing this shit everywhere and that's it right there also the converters messed up and uh yeah also the let's see yeah also the uh input shaft center bit moves quite a bit no idea if that is enough or if that's like a acceptable amount of play yeah we definitely want to you know do it right also funny thing we did find a piece of a piston in the back of it it was just sitting back here so kind of funny engine blew up so still has some on it but uh we're just gonna end it off here uh we did pretty much everything we wanted to do today we got the transmission out and it's ready to be uh rebuilt so tristan's gonna look at some quotes and see what he can do about you know taking this to a shop where they can just pretty much refresh the whole thing uh we will get the cylinder heads back from the machine shop and we can continue building the engine here uh we just need the cylinder heads and we're pretty much ready to go to can finish building it so if we get the machine shop the heads back from the machine shop we can send the transmission to a transmission shop and get rebuilt and then 
we'll be able to do the engine because we know these things transmissions are a bit different and uh we should get them back pretty much same time and be able to get the bonneville up and running and uh get out of our driveway so uh thanks for watching like subscribe comment down below and uh, we'll see you next time